This video is for human design projectors. Hi, my name is Andrea Abayabai. I'm a projector just like you. And I want you to experience the true power of the human design system. We are living at a critical time in our history. As a projector, you are being called to take on your role as a leader. There is a huge shift taking place in the frequency of this planet, which as you may know, changes completely in less than a dozen years. So you might ask, how are we here to be leaders and why? The secret and our superpower is in the way our aura functions. Your capacity to focus, penetrate, and absorb gives you the unique ability to energetically taste the frequency of others. You can recognize the other being's true essence. And yet, as a projector, you can only take in one person at a time. What your aura focuses on is the core of the G-Center, the other person's identity, which creates a recognition in you and in the other. Your aura is what works for you, not your conditioned mind. Most of us have been deeply conditioned since childhood to become addicted to and to value what we are not. One of the most helpful keys I can give you, which is highly effective at the beginning of your experiment with human design, is to be quiet. Yes, really. I mean it. Just be quiet. Just keep calm, just observe. No matter how your throat center is defined in your human design chart, likely you do far too much talking, which is a waste of energy unless you feel clearly invited to speak. Experiment with this. Let your aura do the talking instead of your mind. This practice helps to reduce so much of the problems that we create for ourselves. You see, what happens is the things that you say to try and attract attention, recognition, or guide others simply tends to fall on deaf ears, and at best, you waste your precious energy. At the very worst, you waste your energy and become bitter from misunderstandings or possibly get yourself into situations where you are taken advantage of. Because we as projectors are so deeply susceptible to conditioning with our busy homogenized minds running our lives, we can tend to be some of the most disturbed beings on the planet when we are operating as what we call not self or with these adaptive strategies that tend to happen through the openness in our design. absolutely not about changing yourself. It is about being the authentic version of you instead of the homogenized version of you. This planet, we all urgently need you to see as yourself, to wake up, 
to develop the awareness of the unique being that you are. A thorough human design education, whether you do self-study on the Jovian Archive site or via live classes, allows you to eventually see clearly the depth of your conditioning. A formal, proper education in this vastly complex system takes dedication and commitment it could take the rest of your lifetime to master. As a fellow projector, I hope you are as excited about this system as I am. Because you are a naturally gifted learner. As well, you are extremely intelligent in your recognition capacity, and you have an innate ability to master systems. You could spend the rest of your life happily delving deeper and deeper into human design, Though, word of warning here, none of your studying matters if you don't live your experiment. The primary purpose of a projector is to guide. The only way you can guide is if you learn how to play this game, this illusion, that which we call life, that which we call reality. The mechanics of the Maya also known as the human design system, is the nuts and bolts of the mystical rule book with the right people in the right place doing the right thing, eating the correct way for your body, and it comes at exactly the right time for you. You are drawn to it. You cannot speed up deconditioning because the memory or conditioning itself is stored in your cells and you can't make your cells turn over faster. The irony of it all is that you don't even have control of whether or not you'll be able to commit fully to this process. Human design is not a path that everyone can or will travel. But for those of you who are interested and who are ready, for those of you who are waking up in this illusion of separateness that we all live in, for those of you who can smell the potential of true fulfillment, oh boy, are you in for the ride of your life? Because the signature of a correctly functioning projector is success. This transpersonal victory comes from the correct bonds made with the correct people for you and must come from correct recognition, which is a two-way street, with your individual personal authority having the final say. The most important thing I know I can do for you is to encourage your studies of the human design system. Because if you are watching this right now, you have a special interest in this system, which is the most accurate and complex system available on the planet today for understanding who the other person is. And that is exactly what you are here to do. Recognizing the other person is where you find your opportunities to guide them. There is an enormous potential for you here in human design. As a fellow projector, I am personally recognizing and inviting you into this human design world to help you understand others. Because when you see enough others with aspects of your design, you'll finally be able to get a handle on understanding yours. That's just the way it works for us projectors. The energy of your holistic being only focuses outward. Unlike generators, we projectors are not here to know ourselves. We are here to understand, and like I mentioned, guide others. That is our unique potential. Guiding and recognition is both our gift and our superpower. However, when you are not operating with awareness, this superpower aura functioning is also your weakness. 
it is a weakness in that you cannot help but focus on the other and be conditioned by them. If they are within range of your energy field, your aura, which is approximately two arms length from your body, you are simply being conditioned. You are designed that way. There is no escaping it. Conditioning isn't bad. You can't avoid it, nor would you want to. It's what you learn from. Your gift of recognizing goes hand in hand with your awareness of what happens to you in the presence of others. Develop this awareness of the hooks that are locked into your system by conditioning. Just be aware and watch. Watch carefully. You've been told what to do from birth, rather than being recognized and invited and honoring your personal authority. No fault, no blame to your parents and how you were raised, but with understanding comes awareness and acceptance. I hope you understand that you are worthy of being honored for the uniqueness that shines forth from your being. I want you to feel empowered in knowing that it's never too late to develop awareness. Our society and our culture places a high moral and ethical value on hard work, on making things happen. Both things that we projectors can be really good at inconsistently, while often damaging our health. We were raised to be manifestors. We were trained to be generators but that's not who we are. It can be enormously devastating to our psyche to try and be what we are not, as we are not designed with consistent manifesting or generating power. So you might have gotten to your 40s, 30s, or even your teens and 20s simply exhausted, developing many different kinds of ailments and illnesses. You might be very highly trained to be a super slave, and perhaps you're bitterly disappointed in the way that your life turned out. You might be addicted to the powerful lure of the sacral world, the generator world, and not know how to get off the hamster wheel of that generator lifestyle. I know that if you can dedicate yourself to learning this knowledge, to living this experiment for yourself, that you are going to move through life with at least more ease and with much less resistance. And what likely will happen, you might find yourself ending up healthier and happier too, like me. Potentially, what can happen is that you'll hit incredible success in the form of deeply fulfilling and very personal joy in all aspects of life that are important to you. The longer you experiment with living your design and the deeper you delve into this body of work, the more empowered you can be in making decisions that are right for you. This empowerment leads to others recognizing you correctly for your uniqueness. Your potential, your role, your gifts and your contribution is something that is only recognized by the other person. I want to let you know a little secret. You have absolutely no control over when or how or where or who will recognize you. The most important and only thing you really can do is wait. As you study human design, as you decondition, you begin to make decisions correctly.
and personal authority. What makes this so hard for projectors is that those kinds of invitations don't come along every day. So you can practice this with everyday experiences if you like. But remember, the key is not to make any decisions about yourself with your mind. Do not, I repeat, do not trust anything your mind says about you. You cannot believe it. In order to enter this human design experiment fully, you must honor your strategy of waiting to be recognized and invited and honor your own unique personal authority. A guide like myself, who's been trained in the system, can explain and help you take advantage of the tools that human design offers in order to help you unlock your uniqueness. You have a tremendous potential for awareness, the potential of seeing, the potential of true communion with the other. Through the precious gifts of your particular design, you are called to recognize. Through being recognized to impart your outer authority or your guidance, this is the gift that you give the other person. That's the power of you. That's the power of our projector or a type.